This one's recording? Yeah. All right. Well, people have come and started laughing, but we are going to do what we're going to do, yeah? Yeah, let's do this. All right, guys, we had a hands-on with the Galaxy Z Flip 5, and we played around with it, and we have some thoughts. Goedendag, we're DHRME, doing hot reviews minus exploitation. Yeah, that's us. All right, the first thing about the Galaxy Z Flip 5, everyone's going to talk about it. We saw it, that's the thing that appears yep. most in your face. It is the front screen or as Samsung calls it. Flex window. Are they flexing with their new terminology? What I don't know doing? why companies have to brand everything. <laughs> Literally, you can't look for front screen in the settings. You have to look for flex window, yep. but that's the story for another day. Although their presentation slides all had cover screen, probably the old terminology, they're calling it the flex window. We'll just call it the front screen, guys. Yes. So what we're noticing here is a huge upgrade in terms of the screen size. They've gone from 1.9 inches on the Flip 4 to 3.4 inches on the Flip 5. And you notice it, you really do, don't you? Yeah, the bigger size always noticed. That's what she- Size matters. Size matters, but importantly, it's not a full, full screen, right? No. Like it doesn't cover the whole of the, that half of the phone. And we asked Samsung, hey, and it seemed like a really well-prepared, canned answer to why isn't it full screen? They mm -hmm. said, this is aesthetically more pleasing. And they're like, Samsung has done it. You know, they've seen it with the whole full screen, but it wasn't pleasing. So. They needed to keep something for the Flip 6, who knows. But what you do notice is that there's a interesting indent in that cover flex <laughs> window display thingy. Yeah. And what it reminded us very much of is the dynamic island from the iPhone. Because what it can be used for is if you've started a timer or if you've started playing music, it'll show that information down in that indent. Kind of useful but uh, not sure why they don't have a fancy name for that. Maybe they should call it the pill. Wait, no, that one's already taken. Let's stop with that. <laughs> what else can you do with the front flex screen mode thing? Yeah. Well, the most important question that we had was, can you actually run apps on this? Because yes, you can run widgets, you can see the temperature, mm -hmm. the weather, the, you know, the, just run a timer and things like that. Just the usual Samsung widgetry, which you had on the Flip 4 as well. Mm -hmm. But you could not run apps on the Flip 4 front screen. But good news guys, you can run a limited selection of apps on the Flip 5 front screen, but we'll come to it. The limited selection included YouTube, yeah. Netflix, uh, Samsung messages, and you could also reply to things yeah. on the using the keyboard on the front screen, so you actually never have to open it no. if you're that lazy. But can you run all apps, Kevin? Well, we asked that question and they said, they're gonna start supporting more and more third party, but if you'd like, you can turn on the lab option in the app and um, then other third party apps will be supported yes. at your own risk. I think it's Samsung's way of covering their ass because these apps will probably, in some cases look ugly, yeah. maybe in other cases they resize well, yeah. but you can actually run any app yeah. over there, so. But other, other existing widgets like the calendar, the weather, all just seem a little more usable, a little more, uh, accessible because it just feels like it has a decent size that you can interact with and yeah. no longer limited. The biggest thing that Samsung said you can do with that front screen is take selfies. Oh, yeah. We'll come to the cameras in a bit, but let's talk about the build. You know, I think at least when we did our you know ten reasons or seven reasons not to buy the Flip Four, one of them was it collects so much dust, yeah. and I, everybody in the room kind of agreed with us. Yeah. And that's because there's a bit of a gap on the Flip 4 and older devices, which luckily the Flip 5 and the Fold 5 as well has fixed. So there, it sits really flush, it's flat. There is no kind of uh, gap there and hopefully no more dust, uh, no. Kevin. And hopefully a little less uh, space taken up in your pocket because it does make the whole device a little thinner. So that's uh, that's the situation in terms of the gap and the, and the thing. But what about the crease though? Because that's something you were very curious to see. I was very curious because also we used the Oppo Find N2 Flip. That had a less pronounced crease. Uh, I could not see a difference, Kevin. To no. be very honest, the Flip 5 and the Flip 4, I held them side by side. We checked it with the different light, no difference. We didn't yeah. see any difference. And, and this is comparing it to a Flip 4 that you've been using for like the past year, yeah. Yeah. flipping that thing open and close. So yeah. there you go, guys. And talking about build, there are colors. Yeah, there are colors. There are four colors. You've got graphite, cream, lavender, and a new fourth one, which is mint. That's the only new one. We did ask about whether there's gonna be a bespoke edition like they've had in the past. They're not gonna have that, but they did mention that there's gonna be a Samsung.com exclusive colors, 
We're not sure what they'll be, but that's uh, that's going to be there. Yeah. But what do you think about the colors? In person, they were really very meh. You know, I'm yeah. not somebody who likes bright colors, but we don't like bright colors in general. But yeah. but that pastel shade thingy mm. is too pastel-y for our taste. It almost like the cream color in my hand, and I don't know if it was the lighting in the room. It just felt like almost a dirty white. Yeah. It didn't seem like as cool as they made it out to be in the presentations. No. So if I were you guys, I'd just buy black. And they kind of did say that was the most popular color anyway. So uh, that's probably what's going to happen. Exactly. So the cameras on the Flip 5 have gotten a slight upgrade and they talked a big game about the selfie and you need yeah. the best camera for the best selfie. And I thought that was the case with the Flip 4 as well, but they have upgraded one of the sensors. It lets in more light and you can zoom in up to 10x. On the front camera, I'm not quite sure why anybody wants to see your pores in that amount of detail, but hey, now you can show off your pores. Hashtag porography. Comment that down below. <laughs> get spammed <laughs> or get blocked <laughs> rather. So we did try to take some selfies and we did, you, you know, you can see the B-roll here of us acting stupid in, a, in, a, in an event, but we were told that the software running on those devices was pre-production software. So there's actually, it makes no sense to compare it. And yeah, we, we also couldn't actually transfer it over. Yeah. But at the end of the day, that's probably not what's going to launch. So yeah. we're getting our samples soon. So we're going to be putting up all kinds of samples. So stay tuned. And then we can talk about the storage because the only interesting part is that the 128 GB is gone. Yeah. There's no more. It's only 256 and 512 with the same old 8 GB of RAM. Another interesting fact about the Flip 5 is that although the battery capacity is the same, you get about one hour more of battery life. That's what Samsung says anyway. But it may not be one hour. You'll still get a little bit more battery life due to the components newer. being a bit more efficient, I guess. Yeah, the newer processor, Snapdragon 8 Gen. Too, but maybe I'm thinking opposite to that. The cover screen is actually bigger, so it could actually consume more juice. But uh, yes, hey guys, real testing is only uh, is, is the only thing that's going to tell. So. Stay subscribed. Pricing. That's the final point. So there's been an interesting move by Samsung here. Not sure what will happen in the future, but what they're saying right now, the Flip 5 is 40 bucks more than the Flip 4. It's 40 euros. Yeah, 40 euros specifically. Not sure what it'll be in dollars and not sure what will happen to the Flip 4 in terms of pricing down the road. But looks like the difference is so small for what you're getting in terms of that flatter crease, or no crease rather, plus that bigger cover screen, front screen, flex screen, whatever, yeah. flex window. And what do we think? Should you buy the Flip 5? Look, if you're a flippy boy or a flippy girl or a flippy person, uh, we're not gendering you. However you flip, I think, there's a lot of competition out there now. Um, now, this is not a full review, this is an impressions video, but my first impression is if you want a Samsung flip phone, I think the Flip 5 is a no-brainer at all. Yeah. I think even if you have a Flip 4, there is kind of a case to be made to, be, to upgrade to the yeah. Flip 5 because you get just so much more functionality on the front screen. Yeah. Now, whether it is as good as the Motorola, as the Oppo, you know, that, that's the story for another day. Exactly, and I think at the end of the day, like Rowan said, you're getting it for the flip factor, right? For the ability to fold and be compact. It's gonna be compact for sure, whether you get the flip four or the five. The five will have that bigger cover screen. That's what it's about actually at the end of the day. That's the biggest upgrade, guys. And if you plan to use apps on it without having to open up the phone or you use it for a lot of photos and videos, it makes a lot of sense. You've been flipping? Not folding. And we've been DH Army. Namaste. Namaste. Cool.